Hello friends, welcome to To The Point. In today's session, we'll be discussing about the culture. That is our Indian culture. And this topic I have chosen from India Yearbook. So what is culture? So culture is nothing but it is the characteristics and knowledge of a particular group of people or a particular group of encompassing language, particular type of religion, and social habits like music, arts and so on. So this word culture, it derives from a French term which in turn derives from a Latin called colere. So which means to tend the earth and grow or cultivation and nurture. It is the meaning of this term colere. So the mandate of Ministry of Culture. It revolves around the functions like preservation, conservation of ancient uh, cultural heritage and promotion of art and culture, both tangible and intangible and knowledge heritage in our country. So Ministry of Culture, it has organized four missions. So they are National Mission for Manuscripts, National Mission for Monuments and Antiquities, National Mission for Libraries and Gandhi Heritage Sites Mission. Ministry of Culture, it also nurtures Gandhian heritage and it is responsible for commemoration of important historical events and centenaries of great personalities so the in the tangible heritage that is a ministry of a culture it takes care of all the centrally protected monuments of national importance so national importance which is achieved through archaeological survey of india so similarly the ministry of culture is also promoting museum movement in the country and majority of the uh, museums are under its administrative control. So the Ministry of Culture, it will also promote regional museums through the grants in aid. So in the field of uh, intangible heritage, so talking about intangible heritage, the Ministry of Culture, it extends its financial support. To the individuals and group of individuals and cultural organization those who are engaged in performing visual and literary arts so when talking about the knowledge of heritage the ministry of culture is a custodian of all the major libraries in the country so it also extends grant in aid for library development and it also responsible for all policy matters regarding library development Ministry of Culture, it is also responsible for implementation of various UNESCO, UNESCO conventions in field of agriculture and for entering to cultural agreements with partnering countries. So Lalit Kala Academy. So what is this Lalit Kala Academy? So Lalit Kala Academy, it is a national academy of arts and government's apex cultural body in the field of visual arts in India. So this Lalit Kala Academy it has been established to promote and propagate understanding of Indian art both within, the, within our country as well as outside the country. So remember Lalit Kala Academy, it is a national academy of arts and it is government's apex cultural body in the field of visual arts within India. So it is established to promote and propagate understanding of Indian art both within the country as well as outside the country. So let's have a brief discussion how this Lalit Kala Academy works. So this academy it has been organizing national exhibition 
of contemporary indian art with 15 national awards so once in every 3 years this academy it also organizes triennial international exhibition of contemporary art in new delhi so once in 3 years this academy lalit kala academy it will organize triennial international exhibition of contemporary art in new delhi so the academy it honors eminent artists and art historians every year by electing them as fellows of the academy so in order to foster contacts with artists from outside it sponsors exchange of artists with other countries under the various cultural ex- exchange programs so lalit kala academy it accords recognition to art institutions or associations and it extends financial assistance it also gives scholarship to deserving young artist those who belong to regional centers so next let's talk about sangeet natak academy so sangeet natak academy it is india's national academy of music dance and drama so sangeet natak academy it is india's national academy of music dance as well as drama and is a pioneer in creation of modern india in the year 1961 the sangeet natak academy it was reconstituted by government as a society and registered under society's registration act 1860 so how this works how this functions let's see about it the festivals of music dance and drama they are presented or we can say they are promoted by this academy and they are held all over india the great masters of performing arts they are being elected as fellows of this academy and this sangeet natak academy it awards conferred annually on eminent artists and scholars and financial assistance to artist for their work will be given from this academy itself and it has a large archive of audio and video tapes and remains the single most important resource for researchers in the field of performing arts so this sangeet natak academy it establishes and looks after institutions and projects of national importance in the field of promoting or in the field of uh, performing arts main objective of sangeet natak academy we can say that it is to train the students in all the aspects of theater including theater history production scene design costume design lighting makeup and so on so being the apex body this academy it also advises and assists the government of india in formulating and implementing policies and projects in the field of music dance and drama indira gandhi national center for arts so the indira gandhi national center for arts which is in short called as ignca it is an autonomous trust under the ministry of culture so it is a national level academic research center which encompasses the study and experience of all arts class like a classical and folk dances written and oral and ancient as well as modern things so indira gandhi national center for arts the weave of this is the weave of the arts in ignca it encompasses wide areas like uh, creative and critical literature written and oral visual arts architecture sculpture painting uh, graphics photography film and so on sahitya academy so sahitya is nothing but literature we know it sahitya academy means uh, it is a uh, india's indian national academy for letters so this is to promote indian literature through publications translations 
seminars, workshop, cultural exchange programs and literary meets which is organized all over the country in 24 languages of India and it is recognized by this Sahitya Academy. So this Sahitya Academy, it was founded in the year March 1954 as an autonomous body which is fully funded by the Department of Culture and it was registered as society in 1956 under the Society's Registration Act 1860 and it has an office at Shillong for promotion of oral and tribal literature and an archive of Indian literature in Delhi. Center for Cultural Resources and Training The Center for Cultural Resources and Training, it, in short it is called as CCRT. So this is one of the premier institutions working in the field of linking education with culture. The center was set up in May 1979 as an autonomous organization by the government of India with headquarters in New Delhi. It has three regional centers, one at Udaipur, second one is at Hyderabad and the third one is at Guwahati. The broad objective of CCRT that is Center for uh, Cultural Resources and Training have been to revitalize the education system by creating an understanding and awareness among the students about the plurality of regional cultures of India and integrating this knowledge with education. So there are also zonal cultural centers. The zonal cultural centers, in short it is called as ZCC. So it aims to arouse awareness of local cultures and to show how this merge into zonal identities and eventually into the rich diversity of India's composite culture. So the seven zonal cultural centers were established under this scheme during 1985 to 86 at Patiala, Kolkata, Tanjaur, Udaipur, Nagpur, Allahabad and Dimapur. So master craftsmen and artisans from various zonal cultural centers, they participate in crafts fair. Under the National Cultural Exchange Program, it exchanges of artists, musicologists, performers and scholars between different regions within the country takes place in National Cultural Exchange Program. The, the seven zonal cultural centers with headquarters and states are listed here. So let's see it. The zonal centers are North Central Zone, North Zone, West Zone, Northeast Zone, Eastern Zone, South Zone and South Central Zone. So in this, there come a component states and for that component states, we have a headquarters. Next one is Ek Bharat, Shreshd Bharat. That means Ek Bharat, Shreshd Bharat, it was announced in the year 2015 on the occasion of 140th birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. So the objective of this initiative is to celebrate the unity and diversity of our nation and to maintain and strengthen the fabric of traditionally existing emotional bonds between the people of our country. So to promote the spirit of national integration through a deep and structured engagement between all states and union territories through a year-long planned engagement between the states. So this program or this initiative, it will showcase the rich heritage and cultural customs and traditions of other states for enabling people to understand and appreciate the diversity that is India. So this will also establish long-term engagements and this will also create an environment which promotes learning between the 
uh, states by just sharing best practice and experiences of their own cultures so apart from all this uh, initiatives and programs uh, zonal centers and so on there is a cultural heritage of himalayas and many projects so the main aim of cultural heritage of uh, himalayas is the aim of buddhist tibetan institution it is to help preserve promote and propagate the intangible buddhist or tibetan or himalayan cultural heritage of our country next comes our archaeological survey of india so this archaeological survey of india it is very important for us so this was established in the year 1861 and it functions as an attached office to ministry of culture so the major activities of archaeological survey of india are survey of archaeological remains and excavation it maintains and conserves a centrally protected monuments sites as well as the remains so the chemical preservation of monuments and antiquarian remains it also protects the survey of monuments uh, it takes the survey of monuments and protects it and the development of epigraphical research and numismatic studies and so on so under this uh, ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act 1958 archaeological survey of india has declared 3600 86 sites of national importance and out of this 21 sites are inscribed on world heritage list by unesco and three sites namely chapaner pavagar archaeological park in gujarat chatrapati shivaji terminus station in mumbai and brihadeeshwar temple complex gangai konda chola puram and airateeshwara temple complex darasuram as an extension of brihadeeshwara temple complex and tanjavur this have been inscribed on world heritage list of unesco in the year 2004 so we know also there is a national mission for manuscripts so that was launched in the year 2003 with Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts as a nodal agency to reclaim India's inheritance of knowledge contained in the vast treasure of manuscripts and there is also a national museum we have uh, earlier discussed about this this works this also works under the ministry of culture and the main activities of this museum national museum is the exhibition reorganization modernization of galleries photo documentation that means it collects all the important things like uh, antique pieces of olden days and preserves it and it has been and few are photo documented and few are like a museum so just the people can go and visit the museums apart from all these things there is also a national library that was in kolkata and it was established in the year 1948 so it enjoys the status of institution of national importance that national library so this is about our culture see you all in the next session with some other interesting topic thank you